Bloomberg. Is it your new policy on filming in the city an attack on First Amendment sir, rights, sir? sir? Keep your distance, please. Is it your new, new policy on filming in the city an attack on First Amendment rights, sir? Is the First Amendment just for freedom of the press, just for the Bloomberg business, sir? Is it just for your business corporation, sir? We're here with Matt and with Alex and with Nate, and it's uh, about 20 to 8 on East 79th Street. So we've been coming out uh, about four or five times, Nate, now? Yeah, three or four, three, four times. Different people to try to catch him uh, between like uh, 6.30 in the morning and... Um, and we, yeah, we <laughs> Alex waited till 11 one time. August 3rd, they're trying to pass a law, which is not even law because it's unconstitutional that we have to have a permit to use a camera right. and a million dollars of insurance. Uh -huh. And nobody I expect to is going to obey that. I think it's the most critical issue in our existence right now of us. Because, you know, this is how, this is how we get the people, this is how we inform the people, you know, across the country. And if we can't even get them on camera and ask them these questions, you know, then we can't do our job, you know. All right, we are the press, I guess, right? Yeah. We're getting a sleeping bag camping out over here because it's, it's somewhat easy. A little tent, you know? Yeah, like, you know, like a little camping you know, trip over here. You certainly should, because uh, <laughs> like you do up there in London, you had that guy, one guy who camped outside about Parliament. And you do the same thing with this guy, because uh, there's his house. He's not unreachable. He's not, he's not got, untouchable. We've got him. Right there, he lives by the park. He's 79th in Madison here. And the address is, da 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 da, 17 East 79th. All right, gang. Uh, so again, we're here on East 79th Street. We're here to talk to Mr. Bloomberg and uh, talk to him again very briefly. You don't get these guys uh, too often because uh, we have kind of cops pushing you and things. Um, but uh, it's a critical issue, you know, um, coming here and making sure that he knows that the people are not supporting his policy of of uh, against filming. The, the people here are not supporting his policy against filming in the city. Okay. And as Alex said, this is our only chance to fight the corruption is by revealing it on camera. And as Nate said, the camera does not lie. So God knows something else happens and we have to be able to catch it and they're taking our cameras away so people will not get the truth. This ban on filming in the city cannot stand and will not stand. And we are changing it to make sure of that. And this ban on inspecting bags in the, in the subways cannot stand. It cannot stand. You sit in the New York City subway and you hear over and over again that the uh, reported voice saying the police have the right to randomly expect your bags at any time. You know, I mean, that, that, that's worse than Soviet Russia 40 years ago. Okay, so uh, we are Americans. We have to keep this country the, the wonderful place that it is. And uh, we have the work to do that, you guys. So it means getting up at 7 o'clock in the morning or 5 o'clock in the morning or 4.30. You got to do it. No choice. Now, we, they're trying to make sure they can crack down on public photography like down here, like it's illegal and like we're criminals. That's, that's very bad wording, and I just, that's very disrespectful. See? Watch out, guys. He's got a camera. He doesn't have a permit. Well, they're blocking a pedestrian sidewalk. They're also... Yeah, they're cameras. criminals, too. They're <laughs>